Hey guys, how's it going? It's Carter Bajenko, and today I'm going to be doing an in-depth review on the BizBait Ned Dizzy, and I'm going to be showing you guys why you need to have this in your tackle box every time you go fishing. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Carter Bajenko. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing the BizBaits Ned Dizzy. A little bit of information on this bait. It was released uh, this year, or last year, in 2020. It comes out at $4.99 on bizbaits.com. 10 colors, including the colors from the custom shop. So there's gonna be custom colors that are only there for a limited time. Gonna give you a little bit of edge, maybe a little bit, little bit of confidence over other anglers that might not have access. Uh, you know once those colors run out because they're never going to be made again right here is my, probably one of my favorite colors for smallmouth It's called summer craw when you're fishing in muddy water in the river the summer craw is a great color for catching smallmouth I used it a lot on the Ned Dizzy um, You know this this Ned Dizzy has a lot of similar traits Compared to the Dizzy Diamond, which is my favorite shaky head bait of all time Won a national championship on that bait in 2018. It's been tied on my rod ever since. It's a shaky head bait I have a lot of confidence in, and that's why I really like this Ned Dizzy uh, when they came out with it. Uh, one of the key features is that spaded tail. They brought the spaded tail into the Ned Dizzy, and what that's gonna do is when you guys are dragging this along the bottom, uh, one of my favorite ways to rig it is on a light Carolina rig, like a 1 8 or 316 pounds, and when that bait is moving, um, you don't even have to, you know, shake the rod tip at all. Uh, as it's coming through the water uh, on that weightless hook on the back of a Carolina rig, it's just gonna barely move. That can really help with getting a couple extra bites over just putting a, you know, cut down Senko or something like that on the back of your Carolina rig. You're gonna give it a little bit more action. Very subtle, but you know, fish can feel that, especially in muddy water. Um, another thing about this bait that's really cool is how they added the ribs there. Um, not a lot of Ned Rig baits are going to have ribs along the entire bait. And what that's going to do in muddy water, it's going to displace more water than a Ned Rig bait that does not have any ribs on it. And it's going to allow those fish to track that bait in muddy water. And that's really one of the key features of this bait that I like over any other Ned, Ned Rig bait that you're going to find on the market. And then coming up here, like I said, three and a quarter inches, a little bit bigger than uh, your average Nedrick bait. And what that does, it allows me to rig it on these weedless Ned heads. Uh, very effective way to fish Ned rigs through rocks, wood, and other hard targets or places where you're gonna get snagged, even grass. And it allows you to trim it down or leave it where it is. Um, depending on what you want to use it for right here I cut it down a little bit and put it on the back of a micro jig It's a very cool way to rig on a micro jig because when you're fishing for those creek smallmouth Which is what I like to use this for I feel like it's a lot more effective than a smaller crayfish trailer Because you know when you have those craws and they have two claws uh, Those smallmouth they like to look for crayfish that look injured so like this could really imitate a crayfish that's coming through the water that does not have any claws and it can't attack or like pinch the smallmouth and it's gonna be an easier meal for the smallmouth. In my opinion, I think it just helps get a couple extra bites. And then right here, uh, we got it rigged on just a regular net head. Probably the staple for most fishermen with that exposed hook. Great for just dragging around anywhere, getting a couple bites when nothing else will bite. Netrig is definitely a finesse technique and it's pretty boring to fish but it'll definitely definitely get you some bites when nothing else is overall just a very cool little bait definitely something you're going to add want to add to your tackle box there are definitely situations where i think this outperforms any other netrig bait you're going to find on the market overall just a lot of different ways to rig this bait if you guys want to check this out definitely go to bizbaits.com and pick some up for yourself so that is another in-depth review from the Tackle Box, and thank you for watching.